all right hello everyone um just a quick video on how to use my snapify version 7 uh this will work on any android device and any android emulator that is running um anything above android 4.1 um it's quite simple to use um but yeah so let's get into it so you'll find all the links in the description below um, first you need to be in the discord server for this to work and be verified and you'll find the second link to the github repository here you go to releases and you'll find uh, snapify android version 7 so you can just read the information here as well but that is uh, a little bit outdated uh, it's outdated by five minutes to be exact but anyways here you're going to download two things the snapify.exe and the u2.jar now what you can do is firstly oh sorry let me just explain the setup so this is just my android phone um, I wasn't too sure how to record the you know physical stuff so I just made a uh, used a Windows phone link to screen mirror uh, mirror the phone screen anyways so what you're gonna do here on the phone is just go to settings scroll all the way down to about phone this is if you do not have developer options already set up you want to go to software information and find your build number click this or tap this seven times and then you will get developer options i've already done this so i can just go to developer options scroll down a little bit and you need to go to usb debugging and it will be turned off just turn it on and press ok on there and then just allow allow ok then you can just exit out of this alright so now you can go to the snapify exe you installed and just run anyways it's going to start up All right, now to buy uh, to get past this verification, all you have to do is go to the Discord server. Um, you can go to any channel that you can type in. Let's type slash Snapify underscore code. Now the bot will send you a code. This code expires in 60 seconds. Uh, plenty of time for you to just paste it in there and press submit. Now over here you're gonna get a uh, error. So if I start the automation here, it's going to throw an error after I've accepted this and clicked OK on this. Um, now what you have to do to fix this is press Windows key plus R and type app data. Let's see, let's move this so I can see it. You can go to local um, temp folder one file four two one six that's it and here what you have to do is create a folder called UI automator um, two and then create another folder inside of here called assets. Alright, now remember the Java file we installed. Just drag that into. Holy shoot, where am I going? There, this one. Into the assets folder you just created. And you can just close this now. You can close this as well. So, here you can just press OK on here for now. I'll just show you what's going on here 
so this resource ID is just the resource ID for the capture button uh, on uh, on snapchat and this is how long it will hold on to this uh, capture button this is the maximum like after this it's useless to hold it uh, uh, you know hold it down for any longer this is for the multi snaps so now what you can do is just pretty much set whatever uh, timer you want for this I'll just make it like five seconds for this um, um, you know recording but 63 is like the maximum um, otherwise you're just wasting your time I'll quickly explain the steps to you as well so obviously it's, it's quite it's quite um let's turn this around there let's do that there we go so it's quite easy to understand the scroll steps i'll explain in a second but the delay between actions is just how long you want to stop for i'll just do one second now let's just press the capture button and press send to here what you can do is select all the people you want to send snap to from the snapify let's select these literally you can select as many people as you want i'll just select every single person i have give it a second Almost done. So literally, this is probably like <sighs> I don't know how many people this is, but then you just send it, okay? So now, what the scroll steps is that when you send the snap, is this button. So just leave it as one if. If uh, you don't have to scroll to press this button, but say you have to scroll like twice uh, to get to this, but uh, make this button visible and clickable, then just change that to that many steps. But anyways, that's it for the Snapchat site. You can just close this, and it's just just to make sure. Oh my god, I'm not good at this. There we go. Just to make sure it doesn't mess up, just close it completely. Um, just press on stop automation and then you can click on start automation again. And it will work fine. Just click allow and then you can accept this. Just let Snapify know that you've accepted the pop up on your phone. It's just looping around because I think there we go. It's gonna select all of us and then loop around again. But this time it's actually gonna hold down on the button. I think it's just catching up on the first round. There we go. The only thing you can change while the application is running is the timer. So I can change this to ten and it's gonna hold it down for ten seconds now. Three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. Eh. Three seconds, four seconds, five it should work. Uh, yeah. But I guess you guys get the get the point. I'll let it run one more time. When you see the coolest thing is like you can just minimize this or whatever. I don't know. Do whatever on your computer. 
and it's still gonna be running um yeah that's about it um also you'll get automatic updates to this so you don't have to keep going around um just to download each update uh manually every single time but yeah that's about it if you enjoyed like comment and uh subscribe because i don't know why not but yeah bye